All the Creatures Were Stirring, 2018, directed by David Ian and Rebecca McKendry, starring Graham Skipper, Ashley Clements, and Ian Gregory. A couple of lonely people with nothing to do on Christmas go on a date to a theater, which hosts a series of frightening one-act plays about the holiday season. There's an unwritten law about anthology films that they're almost always going to end up being a mixed bag affair. Some stories will end up working better than others. The constraints of a shorter runtime for each segment. The budget needs to cover multiple stories. This was also the feature-length debut for writer-director duo David Ian and Rebecca McKendry. It's always important to grant anthology films a little more leniency, then, because it's hard enough to make a feature-length film work alone. I was thoroughly impressed by the idea of presenting the segments as one-act plays. It was a really clever way to frame an anthology film, and having the story fade from actors on a stage to the segments themselves was a nice touch. The film gives you five segments with one overarching story, which caught me off guard. Six stories is fairly ambitious, the typical anthology stops at four. That being said, some segments definitely work better than others. I ended up enjoying the first segment the most. It started as a brilliant spoof of NBC's The Office, from the awkward small talk amongst co-workers to Jocelyn Donahue's character looking like a dead ringer for Rashida Jones. It then turned into a holiday-themed Saw sequel, with the co-workers being forced to play an Unseen Menace's sick games as he turned them on each other and gradually took them out one by one with booby-trapped gifts. Other segments covered a variety of interesting premises, from the risks of last-minute shopping, to a twisted take on A Christmas Carol, to a story about a killer reindeer they couldn't afford to portray on screen, to a story with aliens, even. What ended up not really working for me was the big plot twist revealed at the end of the overarching story, which just sort of felt tacked on because they needed to come up with something. It didn't detract from the overall viewing experience, though. I mean, they juggled six stories here. I did find it odd that a Christmas anthology had no snow in it whatsoever, though. I rechecked every story after realizing this. There's really none to be found. The visual and makeup effects varied from story to story, but I felt that was more so based on the needs of the actual story than what the budget could provide. For the most part, seriously, no reindeer, you guys? Verdict? Recommended. Eat, drink, and be scary this holiday season with this effective holiday anthology film. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, have a wonderful new year, I'll see you in 2024 with another thrilling low-budget adventure.